This afternoon, I would like to say a few things about going on one's first excavation. This is an important consideration for someone just starting out in archaeology, perhaps leading to a degree in archaeology, or for somebody who just wants to volunteer to get experience on a dig. A wonderful dig can be a wonderful experience. It can be a learning experience, the people you meet can be fascinating, and your experience in the country can deepen you in many ways. A bad experience is just that, bad. Many excavators overuse their staff and particularly their volunteers. And it's important to remember, most volunteers will not only pay their own way, they will pay part of the expenses of the excavation. In other words, they will pay for their accommodation and their food. It's very important if you are a volunteer, and of course if you are staff, to know the people you will be going out with. You will spend a number of weeks, perhaps several months, in their company. If you are dealing with miserable, hostile people, you will not have a good experience. It's very important to realize that even if you go with your friends, you are in a high-stress environment, you will likely be in an out-of-the-way location, you will have long hours, you will be dirty, and you will be very tired. Tempers will fray even in the best of times with your friends. If, if the people you're with are not your friends, you can imagine the kind of interpersonal crises that can happen on a daily or maybe hourly basis. Many people want volunteers for their excavation. There are no shortage of places advertising. The internet is full of excavations around the world that want people to come. There are also magazines that have yearly issues specially devoted to excavation opportunities. It's a good idea to look not only at the site, if the site that's being excavated interests you, it's important to look at who is sponsoring the excavation and to find, however you can, by word of mouth or by internet blogs, who is going out and did they enjoy their experience. Once you've made up your mind, it's important to follow the instructions that the excavators put for preparation exactly. In many cases, you'll have to be dealing with many things yourself, like knee pads. It's important to realize that a lot of excavation is not just back-breaking work. It involves joint stress. You might also have to bring your own trowel. You certainly, unless you're doing underwater archaeology, will have to bring a hat. Indiana Jones valued his hat particularly because he was an archaeologist. Archaeologists spend long amounts of time in the sun. You will need an enormous supply of appropriately sun sunscreen. It will have to be of a high rating. In fact, in some very hot climates, you will have to apply the sunscreen more than once an hour because you will sweat it off. It's interesting to understand why most archaeology takes place in hot climates. But the answer is pretty obvious. Archaeology is about recovering remains. In cultures that used organic materials to construct things, and perhaps even used organic materials to make their houses, say in many tropical areas, there'll be very little preserved from the past what might be preserved of accumulation of ceramics, say. This is in contrast to a desert culture, one that might not have any wood or much wood to deal with. They'll tend to build things in stone. Stone preserves well into the archaeological record. So in some ways, you'll be dealing with some of the same things the original people who constructed the civilization dealt with. When you are in a hot, hostile environment, you'll have to remember that the people who were there 
one or up to several thousand years ago had to deal with the same things you were dealing with. This is one of the many things you'll learn about the site, not from digging as much as being there. It is important to be at a place to understand the kinds of things that people dealt with to survive. Next, it's important to consider medical issues. Some people actually assume that because they are healthy, young, and vigorous, they will have no problems overseas. This could be false. In fact, it can be catastrophically false. It's important to get appropriate insurance so if something really goes wrong, you can either be treated on an emergency basis in the host country or you can be airlifted out. Obviously, this is less of an issue if you are doing something in your home country, say if you're an American in America, but it's also important to realize that there are many out-of-the-way areas in America and it is possible to be well off the beaten track away from medical care. Don't get sloppy just because you think you know the area. A good example would be many places in the American Southwest. It's important to have all your contact information, to have people know where you're going and to check in regularly with those people. A minor problem in an out-of-the-way location can turn into a major problem later. With all this being said, it's important not to be a fear monger. It's important to realize that part of the excitement of going to a country and learning about a new culture is independence, is being away from the beaten track. Now as a volunteer to some degree you will have people who are looking out for you. You will have staff who are looking out for you. It's important to realize for instance that if staff remind you on a hot day to drink water they are doing that for your benefit. It's important to go to an excavation with the idea that I will be a team player. I will learn a lot. I will learn a lot from my environment and I will also learn from the people with me and I will be cooperative. On every excavation there is at least one person, no matter the size of the team, who decides not to be a team player. Remember, don't be that person. You will make life difficult for you and everyone else. It's important to realize that even the staff on an excavation are there because they are passionate about their subject and they too want to have a good time. If you are with a good group of people and you have the right attitude, there's no barrier at all to having a great experience on your first excavation. Thank you very much.